Breaking news semicolon Hawaii volcano new eruption, will Kilauea erupt again? Lava flows into the sea, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano exploded into life again on Sunday, sending ash 10,000 feet into the air, but will Kilauea's violent eruption continue? Here are the latest updates. Kilauea's current spate of eruptions stand as the United States' worst volcanic activity since the 1980 eruption of Mount Street Helens in Washington killed 57 people. More than 600 homes have been destroyed by lava since Kilauea first burst into life on May 3, Hawaii Mayor Harry Kim confirmed last week. In the last 24 hours, Powerful lava fountains have surged between 150 and 180 feet high at Fisher 8 before sweeping down to the Pacific Ocean on Big Island. And the newest explosion at the volcano's summit created dangerous driving conditions as dense fog cloud blanketed the sky. Will Kilauea erupt again? United States Geological Survey USGS, is warning of increasing seismicity at the summit and said another explosion was expected in the next few hours. The bleak statement, issued at 9.26 am BSD June 11, 10.26 pm on June 10 local time, said, there have been no ash emissions since early this morning, however, seismicity at the summit is increasing. If the pattern observed before previous explosions persists, we expect another event in the next few hours. Inward slumping of the rim and walls of Halamemau continues in response to ongoing subsidence at the summit. USGS scientists have previously warned Kilauea is expected to increase explosions as the lava lake at the summit drops and pressurized steam builds. Astronaut A.J. Drew Fessel tweeted on Sunday he could see Kilauea which he called Earth's Fury, erupting from NASA's International Space Station dramatic aerial images have been documenting the fiery rivers of lava spurting into the air from fissures in the Lower East Drift Zone. Richard Raposa, a spokesman for Hawaii Emergency Management Agency, also confirmed Kilauea's activity was ongoing. He said in an email, seismic activity at the crater continues with gas explosions and ash eruptions under 10,000 feet. 3050 meters. While the eruption is never predictable, conditions appear stable for the moment. About 2,500 people have been displaced by the eruptions with the worst affected areas being Kapoa, Vacation Land and Lalani Estates. Officials are warning dangerous levels of VOG are expected across other parts of Big Island. Air levels are moderate at present on the west side in tourist hotspots Kona and Ocean View but USGS said gas and ash are being transported downwind. USGS said in its latest statement, yesterday, gas emissions were measured to be nearly twice the value measured during the past two weeks. Trade wind conditions are expected to bring VOG to the south and west sides of the island of Hawaii.